Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Hamish and this is going to be a tutorial for how to make a completely free Shopify developer store. So the first thing you need to do is go on Google and type in partners Shopify and create a Shopify partner account by clicking join now and then sign into your Shopify partner account and then just click on add store here. Now I want to talk about why you might want to do this before I go into any more details. So what you can do is you can understand how you could create your vision, your business, whatever it might be, onto a website with all of your photos that you have, all of the love you have for your business, etc., etc., And you can see whether visually you can create what you want. Another reason is you might want to create a store for someone that you know because you're kind of like tech savvy and you know how to make websites etc etc and what this allows you to do is it allows you to make a Shopify store for a client that you can then in the future give access to your client but the really good thing about that is automatically Shopify will give you a percentage of their subscription okay so I think that's a really really good system and that's why I'm making this video because I, I also think that Shopify is one of the best website makers right now. The reason is because it's very, very quick, generally speaking. So store name, you can just literally put anything. It doesn't matter, but obviously if it's for a client, then put something serious like uh, really nice, cool t-shirts. And then this will create a store URL. So this is gonna always be their URL. I'm pretty sure it's changeable, but like generally speaking, just like if it's for a client, you want to give them a, a serious one, obviously. Let's just make a password. Do not select this. Generally, you do not want to select this. Okay. And then the next one is my address. So I'm just going to quickly skip that. And then the final option is what will you do with this development store? So obviously you just choose. I'm going to just say that I'm just playing around. The really, really good thing about this is we now have something really, really powerful, which is a ready to go Shopify store that we can import our own images. Let's say we're drop shipping, we're just practicing maybe a drop shipping thing. Maybe we're seeing what the website will look like for that particular product, whatever it might be, trying to create a vision. You now can do all of that completely for free, okay? So you have everything. The only thing you don't have is you can't do a Google speed test on your store until the store is actually live. But that's it's a very small price to pay for what is essentially an entire Shopify store on the most powerful theme, which is Dawn. Okay, you can explore free themes. Any of these themes are going to be really, really nice, to be honest with you. I definitely want to make some more content around the themes here. I should maybe try a different theme because Dawn has, Dawn still has some problems. I'm thinking about maybe trying a different one to be honest with you. So basically the problem with these free themes is that each one has a specific set of features. And if you want to make any of those changes, you're either going to have to hire a Shopify developer or you're going to have to know what to do it yourself, how to do it yourself. So what I will say is no matter what, you're gonna have to make some, probably make some personalized changes or you can buy a premium theme. You can do everything you want with a free theme. The problem is if you have a client who wants a specific change doing the, let's say you make the entire thing on Dawn and Dawn doesn't have that feature or there's something wrong and it doesn't look good you're going to have to know how to change that if that's for a client or if it's for you, if you're a perfectionist, then you, what, what I would say is you might have to experiment with the themes. Okay. Until you find exactly what you want. But the good thing about Shopify is that it's like, once you've got the products, it doesn't matter if you change theme, all you have to do is make the basic changes to your homepage again. So you don't spend too long thinking about your theme, but I am actually going to try a different one because Dawn, has a weird thing where it shows all of the variants of something, even if those variants are not in stock, which for me, I don't really like that. So I'm gonna just try a different one, to be honest with you. 
let's just add this one and we'll see see what happens so yeah now you've got your store um, the reason you can't do a Google speed test actually is because of this password and you can't re you can't remove the password on a developer store basically which is kind of annoying but it makes sense that they you can't just you know have everything so there are two parts of the Shopify um, backend in terms of how to change things and to change the look of your store. First of all, there's the very, very simple and very, very nice um, drag and drop or what you see is what you get, I guess, um, editor. And all you have to do, you don't actually have to do anything here because once you upload products, these will just populate automatically. Once you create a collection, you can then choose the collection here. You don't actually have to add any of these pictures, which is a really cool feature of Shopify actually. And then there's the video. Video is on YouTube, uh, but I do actually have a playlist on this channel, which you can find on my playlists. I'll also leave it in the description, which is just a complete rundown. No, it's a slowly completing list of different customizations that you can make to your Shopify 2.0 store. That's the basic idea because for example, this is a this is a YouTube video, but I in that video I show you how to make a very very nice um, video banner, for example, without YouTube. So yeah, you can definitely make the changes that you want to make yourself as well. So yeah, another really cool thing about online store 2.0 is that you can customize everything. Okay, so if you want to put a certain picture on every product page, then you can do that. You can go on default product here which is a template. It's not letting me click it because I don't actually have any, but let's go on cart, for example. So let's say you want to put a nice picture on your cart. You just press add section and you just add an image banner. And you know, you get the idea, guys. I probably wouldn't do that, to be honest with you, but you can do that if you want. That's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is about the code editor. This is for people who understand even basic HTML and CSS, you can get away with making a lot of changes. If you know JavaScript, then plus points. And if you know Liquid, which is the template language that Shopify uses, then plus points again. Don't get too confused. If you basically, if you want to change something on the product page, or let's say you want to change something on the footer, right? Logically speaking, you go on the search and you type footer, okay? Footer liquid will change things like the layout and um, maybe like the functionality. And then section footer.css will change the look of the uh, footer. So for example, if you want to put a background picture in the footer, this is where you would probably put the code. But basically, once you populate this with products, you will very quickly start to see your store come to life. So let's populate our store with products very quickly. So I just Googled um, Shopify product import example and just went on Shopify's website, obviously, and then download a sample CSV file. And then that will download that. Um, I'm going to put this in Google Sheets, so Google Sheets. Um, go to Sheets make a blank one and then import this. So we'll go on file, import, upload, drag and drop, import data. This isn't actually necessary. This isn't a necessary step. You can import um, just as it is, but just so you understand what's going on, um, it uses it. Basically, this has all the information. So you would just say whatever you're selling. It's kind of self-explanatory, but it's also kind of complicated, but all of this data is necessary. So you have to try your best to fill this in to the best of your ability. But once you've got there, just click on products. Or you can just add these as, a, um, as an example, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna drag and drop this as an example and just do upload and continue and then hit import products. And that should very quickly give me something to work with. 
What I'm going to show you now is once this is finished, which it has now finished, if I refresh here, it should already just have a t-shirt. There it is. Perfect. So that's a really, really nice feature of Shopify. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to hope. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, so yeah, this is from uh, the Shopify front-end uh, developer. So if you want to change this, you can just delete this, or you can write something here. So you see here that these are, this is a draft, for example, so you'd have to change this to um, active. I have no idea how to do that. There we go, set as active. Okay, now when I refresh this again, or go to the uh, thing here, there should be two products, or just one still. I don't know why there's just one, there should be two. Let's click on catalog, let's see if there's two. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's not being activated on the sales channels, I guess. Okay, so by going on the example t-shirt, you can see that the online store here uh, has been activated. So obviously I'm gonna have to do that here. So let's click on manage, online store, done. Then hit save. And now you should have two products here. <laughs> Why is it not doing it? Okay, so by looking again at the t-shirt, you can see that the collection is homepage. So obviously, for it to show in the home page, I have to select the home page like that. There we go. Okay. If it's not here now, honestly, you'll never see this video. Okay, there we go. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. This was, I just wanted to give people a very quick kind of way to get started with Shopify because I think it's definitely the, it's definitely the best out of the box, quickest, easiest to use kind of um, CMS system. I really, really like it. It's a bit more expensive, but I think it's honestly worth it. So I hope this is helpful, guys. And if you want some more Shopify stuff, let me know and peace out.